Hey, y'all. Welcome. Welcome back to Artistic License, my Sunday stream, which is where we do a little bit of whatever I want. Welcome in, Lunar. Welcome in, Koneko. Lunar, I see you got the first today at church, but lurking. Well, I hope you have a really good day at church. I hope the kids all behave. Everything goes well. Hello, Koneko. How are you doing? Are you having a lovely Sunday? I'm going to open my LaCroix. Mm. This one almost didn't want to cooperate. It was a little bit tough. Are oh, y'all having a good day? I hope you're having a good day. All right. We like to start these streams, as always, with a little personality quiz. So here's what we're going to do. We're going to do, which era of pretty are you? <laughs> the description just says, don't be mad, thank you. So I have no idea what they mean by era, but we're going to find out. We're going to find out. I don't know what this means. I don't know what this means. Okay. Describe your style. Streetwear casual, anything pink, well. <laughs> Y2K, Lululemon, or other Weichel clothes. <laughs> Cottagecore, Adam Sandler. What is it? What? What is the? I don't know what style this is. Vintage clothes from the 1900s to 2000s. That's a whole, that's a whole century. I don't understand. Goth, emo scene. I live in sick thrift store finds. <laughs> I mean, I vibe with a lot of these. We're going to go with anything pink. I'm having a good Sunday. Very relaxing. Oh, I'm so glad. I'm so glad. How were the horsies yesterday? Was everything good with the horsies? I feel like the past couple, maybe because it's because it's summer, right? The past couple of times there's been drama. <laughs> Describe your music taste. Whatever's on the radio, Taylor Swift, metal, dad rock, old soul music, Lon Del Rey, classical music, goth music. I don't listen to music for some reason. Breakcore. What's that? Is this, is this going to be like a super Zoomer quiz and I'm not going to understand the answers? I feel like this was going to happen. Somehow all these at the same time, I don't believe you. A really underground indie band I probably haven't heard of. I don't know. Honestly, all. Yeah, I mean, is that... They don't believe me. I, I don't... I mean, sorry. <laughs> I guess. Okay. Favorite animal? Big fluffy dog. Oh, that's a good. House cat? Probably, yeah. Rat slash mouse. Shark slash fish. Tiny toy poodle type dogs. Big cat. Um, any insect or spider, bird, bat, wolf or fox, dinosaur, any mythical or fictional animal or going with house cat. The horsies were good. My friend horsey's back from her little summer holiday. She was sick and out in the field for the rest of the month. Oh, I'm so glad. I'm so glad your favorite horsey's back. That's awesome. And no drama yesterday. I'm so I'm glad. I'm glad. Hopefully this was the the end of it. Right. And it's going to be it's going to be chill again until next summer. <laughs> All right, favorite color. We've got red, orange, yellow, green, teal, lavender, brown, black, pink. I don't have a favorite pink. OK. Yes, obviously. Favorite season, summer, fall, spring, or winter, uh, spring. I used to not be the hugest spring fan until I got my allergies under control, but now that they're under control, I'm a pretty big spring fan. I'm a pretty big spring, spring fan. I'm not going to lie. It's very nice. This time I was the trauma. <laughs> go, Neko. I had an anxious fit while well, on an anxious horsey, so that didn't go well. Oh, no, I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. But that sounds like much less um, drama than what's happened the past couple of weeks. Honestly, that doesn't sound that crazy. Um, you know, the horsey was anxious. You were anxious. You fed off the anxiety. The anxiety grew. I can get that for sure. All right. Pick a quote from my notes app. He's petite little femboy. Mm. <laughs> that looks like my gay friend. You're not ugly. Just funny looking. Okay. Is Grimace real? I'm looking it up. Oh, <laughs> I remember from the shakes from the shakes. Uh, after life is the same as after death. What? <laughs> Accidentally called it Pantera instead of Pantheon. Uh, clean shaven and misbehaved. <laughs> this is me. This is me every time I shave my legs. Everything is simple. A shape, a form, an identifier to let others recognize me as me. But then what? Oh, oh, this is like deep. Nobody understands me. This person that made this is very young, clearly. Um, Tom Klutz looks like young Sheldon. Um, bros of benefits. Me and my friend on FaceTime. Today, pretty, you were born in the right generation. Maybe you love Y2K things. Either way, you're made to be an iPad kid. You might be a little basic. I forgive you. You probably have so many cool friends. It's crazy. Calm down, though, about the tickets to Taylor Swift tour. Your whole social media presence doesn't need to be about it. Wow. How'd they get your number so hard, Lunar? How'd they get your number so hard? Oh, my God. Anyway, we're going with this one. I vibe, I vibe most with this one. Okay, what's your biggest fear? Spiders or bugs? The ocean? Everyone hating you feel a failure? Death or what comes after death? 
future animal related fear. Oh, like scared of dogs or something. Um, scary movies. I have no fears. I have no fears. Truth. <laughs> something random or none of the above. Um, everyone hating me. I hope you guys love me. I love me. Everyone should love me. Okay. Anyways, moving on. What the frick is my result? What did you get, Koneko? What'd you get? Okay, what's your gender? Woman? <laughs> Man, non-binary, gender fluid. I'm nothing. I'm emptiness. I'm a tooth-filled bottomless pit. All. Um, I like the woman has a question mark, so we're going with that one. Grease pretty. Let me get your skincare routine because you're literally perfect. I see you, Coquette Lana fan. Oh, my God. You probably have really cool hair, too. You're perfect for this era. Oh, my God. You're beautiful, Koneko. That's what they're saying. You're beautiful. My favorite subject in school, history, math, science, English, Spanish, French, any other language classes. This one probably gym, lunch, to be honest. School's the bane of my existence. All I have a thirst for learning. Art, music, other creativity-based classes. No, the language-based classes for sure. Last one, drop your Instagram or TikTok if you want. No, thank you. Okay, what I get? Princess pretty. Y'all, I'm a pretty, pretty princess. I literally don't use skincare things except a moisturizer. Yeah, I use moisturizer too, but I do use it pretty religiously. You want to go to Paris and make it your whole personality, but it's okay because you're gorgeous. <laughs> like you're Marie Antoinette. You like being glammed up for every occasion. I bet you really like your bedroom. I do really like my room. This room and my bedroom. So yeah, I think this is the, the text beneath it is true. So yeah, I'm a princess, you guys. Princess Karen. That's, that's like, <laughs> that's too funny. Okay, let's see what the other answers were. We've got late 1990s pretty, today pretty, prehistoric pretty. Uh, there's the Greece pretty, before Earth pretty. Oh, oh, okay. Early 1900s pretty, Renaissance pretty, Middle Ages pretty, Aztec pretty. Wait, so you got... So then, Lunar, you got what? I guess this late 1990s pretty or today pretty? Oh, today pretty, today pretty. I see it now, today pretty, and then... Quineco, you got Greek pretty. We all got different answers this time. Yeah, moisturizer is is the skin routine, though. Like, that's it. That's all you have to do. I fully believe this. Okay. We're closing the quiz. We're closing the quiz. Okay. It's time for the game, you guys. Let's play some Final Fantasy X-2. Let's go. Yeah. Okay. So, well, I got to turn my controller back on. All right, so you guys were in chapter three. We're in chapter three of this game. Um, where we left off, we had gotten Berserker for everybody. So we're trying to get, well, Riku's going to learn all the Berserker abilities. But like, um, we're going to have like Yuna and Pain learn a lot of them too. Counterattack in particular, it's going to take freaking forever, but it's going to be super worth it. So there's a couple of specific abilities I want everyone to learn from Berserker. And that's um, Counterattack. Um, and then magic counter and evade encounter. Okay, so there's a there's a couple things after we learn counter attack We're gonna have to come back up here and learn in venom and some stuff to like unlock um, magic counter um, But yeah, and we want to learn Regan as well like Regan's really important to learn so cuz that's gonna make berserker like a speedy speedy powerhouse, okay, but Regardless of any of that We got to go check on Kimari Whee! We gotta go check on Kimari. He was struggling with his leadership duties with the Ronsos. So let's see how he is doing. Ronso Rampage. All right, you gotta make sure Shin replaces the comm sphere, which he's doing, so that's fantastic. Yuna must leave. Ronso youth use force, seek vengeance for fallen Ronso. Garrick lead angry Ronso youth, decide to take revenge on Guado. Garrick go to battle, now Garrick climb peak, tell mountain battle plan. And you're just gonna wait here? Garrick hear voice of mountain. Garrick change mind. Kimari hopes so. And if he doesn't? Kimari stop Ronso youth. Oh, Kimari. That's crazy. Elder Kimari have no choice. Kimari give Yuna something. <gasps> what is it? What is it? Kimari you got a prize. search mountain, but find only sphere. Kimari not know if found sphere is one Yuna seek. But Kimari happy if sphere help Yuna. Got the trainer dress sphere. So that's why we talked to him twice in the previous chapter so we could get a trainer, the trainer dress sphere here. Kimari. You need 
this isn't good. There's still time. Should we follow them? Uh, let's go. We're going up. Maybe we can reason with him. That's right. If you not go, Kimari think Garrick listen. Maybe. We'll find out. If not, Kimari deal with Garrick. All right, mission time. So we actually are going to climb the mountain this time. We did not climb the mountain before, but we are actually going to climb it now. Also, I want to let you guys know, I accidentally lied to you last stream. I said that we um, were going to go back to Kilika at a later date, um, but uh, but but we're but we're not. I don't think I don't think we do go back there in this chapter. I think it's not until next chapter. So, anyways, um, let's save. So we want to be. Oh uh, no, I want to be on six. Yes. Okay, we're on six. All right, so let's do it. Let's climb up the mountain. I want to say this is the only time in this game that you really should climb up the mountain because there's no, uh, there's no like chests or anything. But we do have to walk up because we can't use the teleporters. They are disabled. So we walk up with all these other Ronsos that are just kind of like meandering up the mountain. Um, and there's nothing else. You just walk. And we're gonna kill things as our berserkers and hopefully get like some more, some more points in that counter attack like this. Bam 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 bam. Yeah. So you get really good um, chains with Berserker because they're all so fast. So I've got some good news for you guys. Hopefully, by the time we choose the date for next month, um, Landon will be joining us again on the Stardew streams. We've worked it out where we think that everything's gonna, gonna work so that she can um, join us and her computer will cooperate. So we're gonna be, she's gonna be joining us again on Stardew streams. I know it's been kind of tough getting those together because people have been busy um, and Landon's computer's been broken, but that should be fixed very, very soon. So I'm excited to go back to that. I wish they put chests here. Like, if they're gonna make you walk up the mountain, I feel like there should be rewards. <laughs> but there's not. You just walk up. Yeah. You just walk up Let's sadly and slowly. Bam, bam, bam. Berserker is such a useful dress sphere. I didn't realize that when we were playing before and I kind of like left the abilities so under leveled because you really need to get like the counter attack um, and the evade encounter in Regan to like really make it um, really viable and useful, but they're so expensive. So that's why we're starting now. Get that Vespa. Broom, broom. Yeah, that was a weird little graphical glitch right there. <laughs> nice work! Nice work! Woo! And it's hard, it's hard to get lost going up the mountain this time because you just follow kind of the Ronso crowd and then you can go up, no problem. We had pulled pork last night for dinner, like Levi smoked a pork butt. It was so good. Um, and of course, when you do those, you get lots of lots of meat left over. So we're going to take the pulled pork and uh, make some enchiladas tonight. It's going to be delicious with like the green and the red enchilada sauce. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Oh, you excited about those, Queen? You excited? You do love some table scraps. You you liked the pork last night. Um, they're so funny. Like when the kitty cats want table scraps, Queen will eat eat any of them. Um, Lady wants wants a lot of it, so she'll beg for it too. But it's so funny. Oreo always begs for a piece, and then he just wants to sniff it. He doesn't eat it. Like he only eats crunchy food. He doesn't eat most people food, right, Queen? And you have to go eat Oreo's piece, which is what you did last night. You went and ate Oreo's um, piece of pork. And it was good, right? 
I don't know why Oreo doesn't want it. She's just like staring at me like, when are my pets? Okay, here you go. Here you go. Meow meow. Meow meow meow. Yeah, you're a good kitty. Okay, that's good. You can come up here if you want some more pets. Like up here, where I can reach you better, instead of on the floor. Because I can't pet you and see what's going on on the screen at the same time. Come on, right up here. You can come up on the desk. Come on, pet! Yeah, you can. I believe in you. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. You're so cute. You're so cute. But I can't I can't just reach all the way down there. Yeah, Pat's for kitty. She likes she needs pets all the time. Oh, oh, the claw stuff. Hang on. Hey. Well don't get your claw stuck on my shorts. <laughs> I love that first emo Koneko. It's like <laughs> It's like so hyper. <laughs> it's so hyper padding. There's the dreaded Seymour fight spot. I'm pretty sure Garrick is in the Sanctuary Keeper fighting spot. There you are, Queen. Now you're up higher. I can see you. I can reach you much better. Thank you. Here we go. Here we go, Queen. <laughs> Oh my god, so many. <laughs> many, many. There you go, queen. There you go. That's the pet. Do I go this way? I feel like maybe I do. Yeah, and then you come up this way. So there's no more chatting with the Ronsos in this chapter, because they're all following Garrick. This will only take two rounds. Give me one. Hey, queen. Oh, Gemini Oversoul. That's okay. We beat him up. Hey, queen. We match him today. We match him in our outfits. Isn't that cute? You need some brushing. I know, maybe we'll do that after stream. We'll give you a good brushing. You're so shedding. Yes, you are. You shed a lot, baby. Mm hmm. Because you fluffy. The berserkers are kind of cat girl looking. A little bit. Wait, why is she berserking? Did I accidentally do that? I didn't mean to. Everybody's supposed to be attacking. When did I accidentally move the thing down? Oops, that was accident. Yesterday, one of the neighborhood cats picked a fight with another neighborhood cat through our backyard fence. Oh my god, pawing at each other underneath the fence gate with a closed fence with a full height door in the gate. Oh my god. Oh my god, that's ridiculous. Cats is crazy. My kitty cat growing up was an indoor-outdoor cat, but our kitties now are all indoor cats. They're only allowed to go outside on the screened-in patio, so they can't really interact with wildlife or anything like that. It was honestly adorable, right? Okay, oh no, she's, she's not berserking this time. I don't know what I did last time and made her berserk on accident. I was not paying attention. I was too busy petting Queen. Sorry we had to win. Yeah, the most wildlife our kitties get to interact with really are like, you know, outside animals. Oh my, oh my God. <laughs> she's so furry and it all like stuck to my, my thing. I'm gonna have to wash this thing. Um that uh, is like frogs that come in the house. Somehow tiny, tiny frogs get in the house and they will like mess with them. Okay, don't touch your hair, Karen, because then you're gonna drag cat fur that's stuck to your glove all over your face. So don't do that. Okay, let's save.
All right, we made it. Pretty sure he's right around here. I'm in favor of indoor cats with catios too much better. Yeah, it's much better. It's much safer for them. Here we go. Ronso, hold anger no longer. Ronso, youth fearless, go to battle with Guado. And if I ask you not to go, Garrick, not listen. Garrick, cover ears. <laughs> la 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 then la. Then I must la. stop you. <laughs> Why, summoner, defend Guado? Why? Who punish Guado if Ronso not go? No one punish. That's not I how it works. I don't care about your defending or your punishing. I just don't want to see Kamari looking sad. The same goes for all the Ronso and the Guado too. Summoner, not stop Garrick with empty words. If I can stop you, will you forget this talk of vengeance? Very well, Garrick swear to Mountain. I figured it'd come to this. All right, here we go. At least he let us cut to the chase. Time to beat him up. I summon a Yuna see true Ronso strength. I fight the Ronso with my Berserker. So it's like an even match. Kick that kitty's tail, yeah. You take this, that Detroit lion, that's what you get. Detroit lion's destined to lose. We took out the ad pretty quick. Let's take out Garrick. Shell is useless against the Berserkers. Boom! Wait till they're all full and then press it so I can get a good, a good chain going. There we go. Easy peasy. Enough vengeance, Garrick. Ronso, keep word. Yuna, defeat Garrick in battle. Garrick, honor Yuna's wish, not go to battle. Thank you. Garrick, not need thanks. Mountain was right. Garrick spoke to Mountain of Plan, but Mountain said. And you were gonna do it anyway. Gaga said no. Garrick wrong. Garrick go against will of Mountain if Yuna not stop him. Garrick grateful to Yuna. Mm-hmm. The truth comes out. The truth comes out. Michelle and Comfy. And for this, we get a Rish Wishbringer Garment Grid. We automatically teleport back to Celsius, but unlike a lot of the other times recently, there's no reason really to go back down to Mount Gagazad. So we are good. So we should be at 52.8%. So let's make sure with our handy dandy tool which I forgot to pull up before stream, so let me open it. <laughs> okay, let's open the save viewer. And let's go check. All right, we're at 52, yeah, 52.8. I said 58.2 before, I meant 52.8. We're supposed to be at 52.8 and that is what we're at. Okay, so next stop. We're finally gonna go to some of the hot spots. We're gonna go to Besaid. Fiends in Besaid Temple. All right, thank you so much for the lurk, Koneko. We love our lurkers here. Okay, so he, we have to make sure he places the Calm Sphere, which he is doing, and we're gonna go into Besaid proper. Oh no, there is more of Kilika. Oh my God. I thought I lied to you guys, but I just I just realized like Kilika's the other Hotspot, so I do have to go there. Yeah, and I remember what I'm supposed to do there. Anyways, whatever. Okay, so let's do some publicity. We're gonna talk to this lady inside the tent here, and for her, oh, wrong button. 
For her with publicity, you do the second one. And then for matchmaking, we do the third one. Okay, and then this guy right here, you can do publicity with him on the first one. So it's like, it's all the same people, but some of them are in slightly different locations. Like those guys are both inside. Um, we still go to the shopkeeper right here and we can do publicity for, yeah, the fifth one. And then matchmaking for the third one. There we go. Then we need to stop the lady that's walking her dog. Right here. And you can do publicity fourth and marriage also fourth. Then we're gonna come over here. We're looking for Kipa. I think he's in here this time. Yeah, he's back in here. So for Kipa, we do publicity and the first one. Then we gotta get the boy that's running around out here. It looks like he... Uh, oh, he's just chilling, okay. Anyway, you do the third one for him. Okay, now we gotta get things started in this area. And to trigger everything kind of like moving along, we talk to Lulu. What's up, the Lulu? Fans? They're coming from inside the temple. But it's all right. Waka and the others fought them off. Luckily, no one was hurt. Guess your friendly neighborhood gull wings won't be needed. Any fiends they missed may still be wandering around. Waka and the rest split up to track them down. Give them a hand. The gull wings are on the job. We'll even give you our special bargain price. That's nice. <laughs> Sorry, Lulu. That's okay. It's all right. Now go. Take a look around. We don't need to charge the pregnant People in lady. The village will feel better knowing you're here, Yuna. All right, so then we can leave, and we can actually go into the temple now. Oh, wait, we got a scene first. What you up to? Installing a comm sphere. You never know when you might need a comm sphere. A new invention of yours? <laughs> Shindra, did you fall and get a boo boo? Here's the perfect guinea pig. Oh, I can see Yuna. Huh? The comm sphere transmits an image back to the airship. Oh, neat. Oh, more, more. How oh, else, Nina? <laughs> Brother, why? Uni, Uni, something's up. What's there to decide, Waka? We can finish off the fiends right here and now. Ah, uh, burning down a temple is going too far. You have another suggestion? The... ah... Uh. We have to do something. What if the fiends keep coming? Or maybe you don't mind putting your family in danger. Hey, all we gotta do is stop the fiends, yeah? So Beklam wants to burn down the temple, and Waka thinks that is too much. We don't need to go that far to stop the fiends. But Beklam seems to think that's going to result in fighting fiends forever. So, yeah. Alright, before we talk to him, I think if we go over here... Yeah. Okay, we can get the search sphere. The search sphere only works on the island if you leave the Sade. Yeah, you don't have it. Okay. So we need to pick up the search fear. We're gonna use it in just a little bit. But first we're gonna go talk to Beklam. Walker's inside, fighting fiends. It would be so simple to burn this place down and take the fiends with it. Praying to them never did anyone any good. You're the one who destroyed Sin. You should know. <laughs> going to help him I won't wait much longer you want to see it burn that badly it's for the safety of the village 
Yeah, except burning it also matches your political agenda. So, like, maybe you did just want an excuse. All right, so now we're going to go inside. Waka should be around the corner over here. Hey, friend, what's up? Waka! You okay? Nah, just a few scratches, huh? Nothing to worry about. There are too many. Let's get out while we can. The man was right. We have to use fire. Whatever's controlling the fiends must be down there. Take that bad boy out. And we won't need fire. Fair enough. <laughs> Waka, stay here. Why? The better question is, why Waka what so you weak now? To overdo it, Daddy? He should have his attack rolls and be able to take care of absolutely hey, anything. Wait up. We know what Waka can do. <gasps> okay, so we fought Dark Bahamut, we fought Dark Yojimbo. It's time for Dark Valifor. Um, I don't... I'm debating if we keep Berserker on. Well, it'll autosave, so let's try with the Berserkers. And then if that doesn't work, we'll do our dream team of uh, two Dark Knights and an Alchemist. An Aeon? No, something's not right. Waka, stay back! It's not safe! But I might just be able to take it out with Berserkers. If not, I can always switch Riku to Alchemist. Let's see if we can do it. Since we are quite overleveled. Hopefully Energy Ray doesn't hurt too badly. Oh, that's not too bad. That's not too bad. Okay. Ooh, nice chain there. Yep, okay, okay. I am very overleveled, so Berserkers is good. I'm just scared from your Jumbo fight that we did last stream, but he is much harder. Oh, that was my very first Aeon. Hmm. I grew up here in Besaid. This is my home. I became a summoner here. This is where I first met you. I have to protect this place. Yuna. The job's done. I see. Glad to see you're not hurt. Or are you? Aren't you going to be a father soon? What if something had happened to you? Eklund, don't What's be that? so judgy. Quiet, meanie! It's okay. What can I say? He's got a point. Waka. If we die trying to save one memory, we risk losing them all. But what if it's a really important memory? No, oh, that's good character development, yeah, Waka. Memories are nice, but that's all they are. It's an outbed saying, yeah? Well, yeah, but... Yuna, you all right? Yeah, just fine. I'll be waiting! Talk about a one-track mind. <laughs> memories are just memories, yeah? If fiends ever come out of the temple again, I may really have to burn it. Uh, I guess so. But call me before you do. We'll save fire for our last resort. You got it. Mission complete! Okay, so that gives us 
Oh, just the moon bracer. Okay, but we are back on the airship. So we gotta go back down to Visade, because there's plenty more to do there. Whee! Okay. Alright, so we gotta go grab that search sphere again. You can do more of the um, Gunner's Gauntlet as well in this chapter if you want to try to get farther than where you got in the previous chapter. Huh? What's up, brother? That was so brother seeing me on the comm sphere. The heck? Brother, chill the fuck out. I'll be back soon, okay? I got things to do. I got things to do. <clears throat> All right, let's go get that search sphere. And this guy right here that's in the room, oh my gosh, we already read this. Stop it, okay. This guy right here will teach you how to use it. Speak with the man in the other room if you wish to learn more. Oh, it's the other guy, okay. All right, so we're gonna go around to this side. And let's talk to this guy. Uh, you've been to the, yes, I've been to the cave. The cave possesses more secrets than just the cipher sealing its entrance. There are in fact four more ciphers barring the last resource, the less resourceful from the cave's true bounty. Clues to the ciphers are scattered throughout Besaid. Use the search sphere to survey the island. Hold down B to get the meter reading. Seek the places where the feedback is strongest and press A to dig. If all goes well, you should find what looks like a miniature comm sphere. You can use it to scan the area, and well, I'm not really sure. Best see for yourself. Okay. Let's go find out. Alright, the first one we remember from last time is inside the village. So it's like over here in this little area. Yeah, somewhere like this. Oh, not that button. What button am I supposed to press? I forgot. Oh, there it's A. Okay. And there, she dug it up. And we can zoom around and we're looking for the number, which I think was up over here. Yeah, yeah, it's that green thing. Okay. Looks like it's a four. Okay. So the first number is a four. Write that down. All right. So that's the only one inside the village. We got to go outside the village for the next one. Come back soon. Oh my God, brother, calm down. I will be back soon. I'm just trying to get treasure. All right. So the next one is up over here, I think. Oh, battle first. Maybe is it here? There it is, right by the sky. All right, so the next one is right up here. Looks like an eight, okay. I run with you. Oh, he died fast. Only one hit. Alright, this next one is along here. Should be right before the first waterfall, I think, if I remember correctly. Somewhere like around here. 
Aha, there you are. Ah, oh, there it is. I almost didn't see it for a second. Okay, it's a five. 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 Five dollar. Five dollar foot long. Spleen. Boom. Bum, bum, bum. Payne's Berserker outfit is like the most modest of all three of them. And the other girls are not so much. There's a chest down here. Again, it's a moon bracer. Just like there was in the other chapters. And we're just gonna keep going along here until we get to the spot with the last cipher. Too easy. Oh, back to back battles. I love the attack Sweet. animations and sound effects for the Berserkers. It's just kind of like, it just, you feel like so powerful. <laughs> like you just like destroy. All right, so we're gonna go down here, right? Oh no. No, wait, that was right, that was right. What am I doing? This away, but instead of going to the beach, we're gonna go this way. And the other cipher is here somewhere. Now, remember how I had a lot of trouble with this when we did the, the practice run together. There we go. He's over there. This one? Oh, no, that's not it. It's over here somewhere? Ah, oh, I see it. I see it. Six. All right, we found four ciphers, so it's four, eight, five, six. It's almost four, five, six, eight. <laughs> that would be funny. Four, five, six, eight, who do we appreciate? Okay, now we can go back into the dungeon like this. And we can open up this side, which we've never been able to go into before. Now there have been chapters every, uh, there, have been, there have been chests every chapter. We've just not been able to get them because the only way to get this before this point of the game is to spend a lot of money. So basically you would go back and get it in like a new game plus. Get it early. Okay, access granted. Yay. So here's one chest. Some ethers. But the main prize is further. I'll show you guys why you want to, why you do want to come in here and uh, get the prize at the end. Don't you death blast! Oh my god! Death blast right before dying? That should be cheating. Should not be allowed to do that. Twisty turny. All right, so now we're up here and we can run along this way. And we saw this in a sphere in like chapter one or so, um, a chest that was along, along this area, but we couldn't get to it. But now we can, and this is how. Can we not chain on this guy? I feel like we're not chaining at all. Oh, but he dead now, so it's okay. We've got bigger fish to fry. Hell yeah. Oh, more battles. Bam, 
bow, bow. Get the watcher first. Gotcha indeed. Piece of cake. And see, like, Riku's barely got any clothes on for this one. But then Yuna is pretty well clothed. And, Re and uh, um, Pain is super well clothed. Okay, so Raging Giant Garment Grid. So we've got in a lot of new Garment Grids, but that's how you get that one. So this one, let's see. Yeah, so Enigma Plate is Magic Defense. Stone Hewn plus 10 defense. Raging Giant is Confuse. Let's see, do we need to switch Garment Grids at this point? We're still using Vanguard, right? No, we're using Hour of Need. It's plus 10 defense and magic defense. Okay, yeah, that is still the best defense one that we have. Yeah, because this is just equipped defense plus 10. And this is just magic defense plus 10. Yeah, okay. So we're still good on the garment grid that we're using. And then we can go back. This is your lucky day. Keep getting cat furs <laughs> stuck, to, stuck to my face. So we want to walk back down this way because um, there is still one other chest to grab inside of this cave area. So we're going to go back to the part of the cave that's been open the whole time before. Get Take that, flame dragon. Yeah. All right, so back this way. Yeah, everyone gets to fight. <laughs> Boom. Riku's so flippy. Oh, yeah. They all have really good animations for Berserker, but Riku does have the best ones. Okay, so it's over this way. And we're gonna come down to the left. To the left, to the left. They're doing a lot of damage. There we go. Alright, so it's down this way. And this chest is... Some high potions! Alright, now we can go back out of the cave. We don't need anything else in here. There is that save sphere in here, so you could leave from the cave, but we're not going to do that. We do have a couple other things to grab and to save. They keep death blasting just as they're dying. Boom. 
Yeah. Okay, so now we gotta go down over to the secret beach. There's a couple of chests there. So if you guys remember, to get to the secret beach, you just walk back a little bit and then climb up here. Whee! Around this way, hello. There we go. There we go. I had to hop down. Okay, so these two chests right here are some X potion and 2,500 gill. All right, so next you guys remember that last week we started the little cactuar side quest, but we didn't really do much on it. Um, we just did a little bit, but the next cactuar we needed to find is actually here on Besaid, which is why we have taken so long since doing more on it. So you can see him, he's right there. So we're gonna try to do the shooty mini game with him. But um, remember, you do not have to win the shooty mini games. There's only one of them that's really worth winning or trying to win, so we don't have to, but we're gonna see what happens. Everything's coming up, cactuars, okay. Yes, we know, fire and dodge. Team, Tomeya. Okay, he has 10 HP. The Cact War is on! Mm. Damn it! Oop. I lost all my HP. He hit me with the spikes too many times. I lose. I lose. Okay. But you don't need to win them. It's okay. So now we can go back and take him to his mama. So that's the reason why we didn't immediately continue the Cactuar quest right then, because the next step was coming to be saved. And that would have triggered, like, doing the... Doing the hotspot mission, which I did not want to do. I guess if you don't talk to Lulu, you don't have to trigger it, but it's just easier just to wait. Yeah, easy match. Easy mac and cheese. I remember when I was living in the dorms in college, this one person, like, they triggered the fire alarm and everyone had to evacuate, and what they had done is they had made mac and cheese without adding any water. I don't know what they thought was gonna happen. They thought, like, oh, it's microwavable, so I'll just put it in the microwave. But they didn't look at the instructions or anything, and they didn't put any water in it. I guess they just thought it was like magic macaroni, that it was gonna get soft just from microwaving it somehow, some way. So that was fun. It was pretty common for the fire alarms to get pulled in the building. Um, but I remember that was one of the times that it actually legitimately went off and it was because the microwave had caught on fire in one of the rooms. But a lot of times it would just get pulled. And I have to admit, I often just went back to sleep. <laughs> it was not unusual for me to just go back to sleep because it, there was never, there was never anything. Okay, that's very dangerous, kids. Don't do that. I was, I was tired and young and stupid. All right, so we got to head back over to the Cactuar Nation really quick. Um, oh, before we do that, let's check our percentage. Hang on. Yeah, go back to the bridge. We need to check our percentage, make sure we got the proper percentage after this aid. So we should be at um, 54.8 at this point. So let's save. Is that right? 
54.8? Yeah, because we were at 52.8 before. And it's two percentage points that you get in Besaid. So we should be at 54.8. Yes, yes we are. Okay, fantastic. Now we can proceed. All right, let's head over to Beaconel. Yeah, back for more. Cactuar Nation. All translate. Martala says the Cactuar mothers are usually sound asleep. Oh, wait. Um, yeah, this is Martala. <laughs> I meant to talk to the green square, not the pink X. There we go. All translate. Precious Tomoya. You must tell me your tales of the Southern That's Islands. That's the gist of it. That's the gist of it. Okay. All right. So then we can go to the next Cactuar mother. That's this one right here. According to his mother, Loberia loves getting into cramped spaces. He left with only one thing in mind, finding the most comfortable box in existence. He finally found the most splendid treasure chest in the home of a spear hunter. How long it's been since I heard from him, I can hardly say. Oh, my careless little Loberia. I've told you a thousand times to be careful of boxes with locks That's on the them. Alright, so we know the home of a sphere hunter with some chests inside, so let's go there. And we've already been to that spot, so it's not going to trigger anything if we go in there. All right, so we need to go into LeBlanc Chateau in Guado Salam. If I remember correctly, he's back in these rooms back here. I think it might I think it might even be this room. Don't remember. I don't remember which room, but I'm pretty sure it's one of these. Ambushed. Bum bum bum. Is it here? No, it must be in the other room. Okay, so it's not this bedroom. It's this one back here. Yep, there he is. Found you. <gasps> what? Loberia? What are you doing in there? Alright, everything's coming up. Cactuars. We know how to do this. The Loberia Collection. We gotta try to shoot him instead of the chests. The Cact War is on. Oh, but I ran out of bullets. I don't know really how you're supposed to do these properly. <laughs> um, I'm surprised that we even beat the first one. I usually don't beat that first one. Okay, but it doesn't matter. We still win. So let's go back to the Cactuar Nation. Duh! Okay, so back to Beaconel. Benzo just like every time I land, he's like, <gasps> like runs up to me like so happy to see me. Like, Yuna! Yuna, Yuna! I feel like that's what he's saying. Even though he's, like, more chill than that. But that's what it feels like when he just runs up to you. Oh, 
Loberia, you made it home safe. Did you find your cozy little That's box? Just All right, so we return that one. So this is the next mother here. I am the mother of those inseparable brothers, Arek and Erosia. Arek and Erosia love being together. It seems they met some large yellow bird on a wide open plain. Erosia is having such a good time, he's put off seeing snow, whatever that is. That's the gist of it. Okay, so where are large yellow birds that's near snow? We know where that is, so let's go find the brothers. Alright, so that is going to be in the Calm Lands, and we want to go to this one right here, where we save the tourists. That's where we want to land down. Ah, oh, but it take us here! Dang it. Okay, he said the Calm Sphere. So while we're here, let's check on where we are with the marriage points and PR points. So, 290, that is exactly where we should be in regards to the marriage points. 290. Because we haven't messed any of that up. Now, for our PR points... I think the max you can have at this point is 710. We're gonna be a little lower than 710, I think, because we messed up that one. And then there's one that we skipped over that we could have done if we had done the um, the Mihen Mayhem with the um, Machina a bit different. Or Machina Mayhem and Mihen. <laughs> Machina Mayhem and Mihen. So we're going to be a little bit lower than 710, I'm pretty sure. Berserkers don't use MP. Silly plant. Alright, let's talk to Argent. How am I doing? So we're at 708. We're at 708 instead of 710, which is fine. Like, that's okay. Because y'all know why. Now we're going to run up this way. This is where the, the pair of brothers is. Oh my god, stop missing. That's right. Get him. Oh, after we do the these brothers, we also need to go check. We need to go check for choke bows. Oh, I should have done that before going to the brothers, but that's okay. This is your lucky day. Because we're going to need to farm them up in a minute. I want to have uh, it all full. And I'll probably have like four full chocobos or five at this point. And you can have up to 14. So we want to definitely have 14. Before we proceed. And if we get them from Thunder Plains then we're more likely to have bold choke bows. So we want to do that. Hey, there they are! What's up, guys? Alright, everything's coming up. Cactuars, we know how to do this. I reckon Erosia and their faithful choke bows. The Cact War is on. Oh, didn't mean to hit you, Chocobo. Oh, damn it. That could have gone worse. I hit him a few times. I hit him a few times. Okay, could have been worse. 
right, so before we take them back to Cactuar Nation, let's go check on how many chocobos we have, and we'll release any that aren't bold. Because that's what we want. We want a ranch full of bold chocobos. This way. Up the side. All right, Clasco, how's my chocobos doing? Mm -mm. I want to choco browser. Okay. Oh, we got lots of timid ones. Oh my gosh. Okay, choco runner one and two are bold. And the rest are useless. We gotta release all the rest. Okay. Uh, let's release. Let's release the reserves first. They're not bold. We really can't use them. All right. Let's go back to Cactuar Nation. All right, Liberia's mother is over here. Or Arek and Erosia. That's the ones we're doing right now. <laughs> Welcome back, Arek and Erosia. Wouldn't it be nice if you found some chocobos to play with here That's in the desert? The I don't think there's any chocobos in the desert at the moment. Um, I don't think that's an enemy you can fight there. All right, the next mother's over here. I am the mother of Is Islaya? Islaya the Sage. I'm off called the wise mother. Isalia, I don't know how to say that. Isalia embarked to follow the footsteps of our Cactuar forebears who left the desert in ages past. I Isalia, my sage son, have you found the Cactuar stones they left so long ago? Try not to get burned to a crisp and take good care of That's yourself. Just a bit. Okay, we know where Cactuar stones are, so let's go there. At last, I thought we'd never leave. Okay, yeah, let's let's go. You don't have to follow me everywhere, Benzo. I was leaving. Okay, Cactuar stones are in the Thunder Plains. So that's where we're gonna go. And this is a really good spot to find bold chocobos. No, we're done calibrating. We're done calibrating. So we're going to also farm up chocobos while we're here. So we need to get... We only had two, so we need to get 12. So we're going to try to count them. I'm going to try to write it down as I do it. What is this X? Oh, it's Sid. What's up, Sid? <gasps> Thanks for your apology. I appreciate it. Bum, bum, bum. We have to be careful with Berserkers to not accidentally attack the Chiboka bows. The Cactuar is in the northern part, so that's why I'm running up there, straight up there, instead of like running around here. And I think he's pretty clearly visible when you get up here, if I remember right. He's like over by one of the stones up here. Yeah, there he is. By that last stone. 
Okay, let's see how few points we can get on this one. You found him. <laughs> it's the stones. Are the other ones. Let lightning. Yep. Okay, here we go. Oh. Dang it. He's too fast. I can't do it. Oh. <laughs> I can't even hit him all. Oh my god. I just, I just need to waste my ammo. Sorry, sorry, Stone. I don't want to hit you. I don't want to hit you. But I cannot do it. Sorry, sorry. He goes by too fast. He's too lightning fast. Oh my gosh. All right, so before we take him back to Cactuar Nation, we are going to get some Chibokobos. Let's go back towards the save point towards the beginning that we can do this by the save point. down this way. And I guess we can also increase the encounter rate so we get more of them. I guess Sid has just been moping in the Thunder Plains like all this time, ever since chapter one. So he spent a lot of time there. Duck soup. I want some duck soup. That sounds delicious. All right, let's increase the encounter rate. There we go. Frequent encounters. And let's run around. <gasps> Chocobo on the first one. Yay. Oh my god. How'd you go so fast? I was like in the menu and everything. The heck? Sign and seal. Well, at least there's the items are sorted now. Whatever. So silly. Maybe this much fighting will get the counterattack, like, buffed up. Mm -mm -mm. Bro, 
Hopefully he doesn't take a while to get killed. These guys are annoying. Okay, don't fuck me up, dude. Okay, he dies pretty fast. He dies pretty fast, so we're still good. We can fight those. Chocobo! Chocobo! Oh, I do not have enough Geshel Greens. Holy crap. I'm gonna have to go back and get more. Chocobo Mateo! Oh, I hate that. Choco, you're supposed to be chill. You're supposed to be a chill co. We caught him! Okay, we definitely have to go back and get more Geshel Greens, though. I don't know how we ended up using so many, but we did. And I guess I've just never talked to Clasco for getting more. I don't know. Will this take me straight there? Yes, it will. Okay, fantastic. All right. Clasco, I need more greens. make sure of how many we've got. Okay, so now we've got 99 Geshel Greens. Okay, fabulous. <clears throat> Alright, let's board the airship. Okay, so we've got in one out of the 12 more that we need. We're not doing calibration, my dude. I'm sorry. And hopefully all these chocobos are bold. That we're gonna get. We'll find out. Oh my god. I accidentally spent a Geshel Green. Sorry, Pain. I didn't mean to do that. Some chabocabos. That's not a chabocabo. There. Didn't accidentally Geshel Green him that time. Chocobo, where are you? Chocobocabo, where are you? We've got some work to do now. There you are. Okay, let's catch him. <laughs> got him. Okay, we've gotten four out of 14. We need 10 more Chabogobos. Get him, get him, get him. Yeah. Bum, bum, bum. Thanks, Yuna. Cho? No. No Cho. Uh, 
Effortless. Totally effortless. Okay. Um, how close are they on getting that counterattack? Okay. 135 out of 180. So we might get that while Chocobo hunting. Yuna, marimas. Yuna is here. Wee. Goodbye. See you later. The fiends are unlimited. Ambushed. Don't you try to poison me. I know that's what you want to do. But you can't. I won't let you. And a watcher. Get that watcher gone. Chain, chain, chain. Yeah. I like when they die so fast. Now you can of course wait to do this grind later um, in like chapter 5, but in chapter 4 you kind of can't do it because of the nature of the way chapter 4 goes. So that's why we wanted to go ahead and do it now and grind as much as possible to get these, get our 14 chocobos, 14 bold chocobos. Hopefully they will all be bold. <gasps> Yay, there's one! Get him, get him, get him! No! Oh my god, they run too fast! How they be so scrawny and so running? Don't understand. Stupid running dinosaurs. That's two. That's two that have escaped me. Shouldn't be able to do that. It's not fair. Shinra just chilling there the whole time playing with his calm sphere. Oh. No item, just attack. Hmm? Why can't she attack? Oh. I don't know what's... She's got something on her. What'd they put on her that doesn't even let you attack? Whatever it is, it doesn't persist after battle, so. I don't know what that was. Oversold the beef. Okay, 
at least we took the others out. Go oh. Take the goal. His Oversoul has like no HP. I did not expect that. I thought it would have more HP. <gasps> This again. <laughs> Goodbye. Chocobos. I wonder why those ones we found have run so fast. Like, usually the chocobos don't run away quite so quickly. But those two did. Which was interesting. I don't really know why they did that. Yuna has the ribbon, you can't poison her. The bomb bomb bomb. Bum bum bum. You know a game's combat is very satisfying when like grinding like this still feels like really good because <laughs> it's still like so fun to watch them go like slash slash Pew! like that oh counter attack yay okay okay everybody learned counter attack nice 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 okay let's do abilities what do i want to put them on next Okay, they need to learn in Venom next, so that we can get them Reckon. Okay, sweet. Let's get them in Venom. So I guess, yeah, combining leveling up Berserker with getting the Chocobos, I think, is probably a good idea for this spot of the game. I hadn't really, like, kind of thought about it that way. I just thought, like, oh, before I finish Chapter 3, I need to go do some grinding for Chocobos. Um, but it is good to do it when you're leveling up your Berserker abilities. You can have those. I wish there was something that increased Chocobo spawn rate specifically. That would be cool. Take that. Take that. Been a while since we've seen one. I feel like I am owed a chocobo. There we go. Oh, and it's by itself. Go, 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 go. No, don't, don't, don't do that. Don't counter. 
Just catch him. Yeah, there we go. Caught the chocobo. That was dangerous. We almost made him run away. Okay, so we got five. Five out of 14. Oh, not... I can't believe I did the Geshel Greens again. Silly. I could get used to this. For real. <gasps> Another chocobo by itself. Okay, don't run. Yeah, we caught him. Okay. Nice. That was dangerous. Almost didn't. Maybe Berserker is not so good while catching choke posts because of the counter attack. But at least we've got 6 out of 14 now. We're almost halfway. Okay, Riku, I leave it to you. But everyone else is going to attack too, because why not? him before he even got a chance to attack. There'll probably be a few of these chocobos that aren't bold, though, so we'll probably have to do a little bit more grinding when we get to chapter 5. Well, well. But I'm going to try to avoid so much of it with doing this. Okay. Don't run, don't run! Caught him! Halfway. This risky business. Chocobo catching. Oh, nope. See that? See that counterattack gets them like so much extra attacks. <clears throat> and then they're gonna get it for magic, and they're gonna get an evade encounter. That's why like Berserker is amazing. We just gotta get them Regan as well. right. Always. Right. 
and Venom. Okay, we gotta make sure they learn Hurt next, because that's what's gonna unlock Regan. Yep, okay, they're all on- they're on Hurt next. Okay, fantastic. Okay. I really have to pee. <laughs> so, I'll be right back. I'll be right back, you guys. Listen- listen to the beautiful music. I'll be right back. stand it no more okay back to the grind how many chocobos do we think we can get before it's um the midway point midway point 2 p.m we need to get seven more but i don't know if we'll get all seven signed and sealed signed and sealed It should be. These enemies are very easy for our level. Kick it, Riku. I still don't know where those things are transmitting the logs to. Maybe Bavel? Maybe it's a machine faction thing? The game never reveals where the heck those logs are going. I need to look, look up fan theories on that because I don't know. <gasps> Chocobo! Get him, get him, get him. Yes, caught him. We got eight. Maybe we can at least learn hurt in that time before break time and then get them started on Regan. Regan's the really cool ability. Is 
Is that itchy? Is that the ability that's not letting- No, because that just lets them not change dress spheres. It must be like a stop or something. I don't know. I don't know what it is that's making them like not be able to do anything. Because they don't look asleep. So it's something else. Oh, two oversouls. Oh my gosh. Oh, but we killed it before it got to. <laughs> Sorry. Did that hurt? Yeah, probably it did a little bit. But it's okay, they're fiends. So they need to, to move on. Nogobo. About time for another one, though. You know what I've never done? I've never had like an attack land on a chocobo and it actually kills the chocobo. I wonder like how much HP they have, if it's even possible to kill them in this game. Or if because of the way the capture stuff works, that doesn't happen. I've never done it or seen it. I mean, they attack me, but I've never attacked them and actually had them like die. So, I don't know. Better not, little bees. Better not get me. I'm not a wimp. Chocobo! Don't run, don't run! Let me get into the menu. Got him, okay. Maybe counter works differently as far as like triggering them to I'm run. Because it does seem to function a little different from what I'm seeing here. All right, so that's nine out of 14, we got nine. Oh, I guess you'll greened him. Come on, give me more Chabokabos. That's not a Chabokabo. Yuna. I think they did nice work too.
Come on, give me chip pokeballs. Wow, one hit. We are getting too OP. <laughs> we are getting too OP. No problem. It's true, Yuna, it's true. It's true. We just want Chabokabos, but these other fiends keep getting in the way. And we have to keep killing them. They won't allow anything else. I mean, I guess we could escape, but like, why? Why when we can level up our skills? Ready. Oh my gosh, come on! Been a minute. <gasps> Yay, okay, okay, okay. No! Oh my god. Okay, well, let's do this. Let's go turn in for the cactuar. Eee. Let's go take um Is Isaya, however you say his name, back home. Isla, I think it's time you took a little nap. That's the gist of it. That's it. That's all they say. <sighs> all right, let's go talk to the next one. I'm Chiapa's mother. Little Chiapa's doing just fine. I'll let him be a while longer. Be a deer and leave him alone. Isn't it? A... <laughs> just a touch more, That's would you? That's the gist of it. Okay. So basically what that means is that is all of this side quest that you can do in chapter three. So to do the rest of this side quest, we have to wait until chapter five. So that's all you can do. Um, you can kind of stop there. You don't have to try to proceed more. There's nothing else to do. All right, let's go check on how many bold chocobos we ended up with. So we should have nine chocobos in in the ranch. So let's see if they're all bold or not, if we need to release any.
Hey, Clasco. Choco browser, that's what I want. Okay, they are all bold. Fantastic. So we've got nine bold ones. So we don't have to get rid of any of them. Let's exit. Okay. All right, so instead of farming so much chocobos, because we can do a lot more of that in chapter five, I'm gonna go ahead and save here. Now, we did not get any percentage points from all of that running around with the cactuars and stuff. We just wanted to go ahead and progress it so it's like less to do in chapter five. Same thing with the farming the chocobos. So on this episode so far, the only things that really got us percentage points was Mount Gagazet and um, and going to Besaid, all right? so. That being said, if you're watching on YouTube, thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe down below. And of course, as always, don't forget to make it a great day.